So I had intended to get this video up on Thursday, then I meant to get it up yesterday, and now it's Saturday, and let's talk about the soundtrack for Sailor Moon Crystal Season 3 and the Blu-ray Deluxe Edition Volume 2 for Season 3 as well. So we'll do the soundtrack, and I'm not going to play any songs from it, but this essentially encompasses all the tracks from this season, which is really nice. We'll talk about the art, which I really love on it, and then we'll do uh, the Blu-ray review, and... Obviously, FYI, there's no English subtitles on this Blu-ray. There's no bonus features on the Blu-ray besides audio commentaries, and the audio commentaries have no subtitles as well, so it's kind of a moot point. Again, the quality of it looks really well. This is an expensive collector's edition Blu-ray, and I can only advise collectors to go out and buy it, and I'm a collector. I always buy stuff like this. But uh, we'll do... Um, a quality comparison to the bootleg DVD. We'll even do a comparison to the, um, the original anime as well. So let's just kind of see uh, what this what this has. Now, my friend Jose uh, noticed one thing on it, and uh, it doesn't bug me at all. But Toei is known to make mistakes, and right here on um, Sailor Uranus's bow, you'll notice that it's yellow as opposed to um, the dark blue that it normally is. So that's a mistake right there. But I love the Outer Sailor Soldiers in this stained glass uh, persona that they have. It reminds me a lot of Kingdom Hearts. It's very reminiscent of the first soundtrack as well. I know the first soundtrack just had um, Endymion and Serenity on it, and then it had the symbols of the inner. So now this soundtrack entails, uh, you know, the four main characters introduced this season. I love the poses of the Outer Senshi. I actually really love the pose of Neptune the best. I think she looks the most elegant. Uh, Saturn looks a little childish. I mean, in this um, season, Saturn is known to be, you know, anything but childish. I mean, Hotaro is a child, but Saturn is very stoic. So I thought the Saturn one looked a little weird, but I think the art of this is fantastic. Now, I flip this around. Normally, the way the soundtrack uh, goes, and when we flip this around, on the, uh, the, the, the case, they have it like this. So that way, uh, when you view it, you're viewing it uh, vertically instead of horizontally, I flipped it around horizontally because it's just easier to look at. So then when you open it up, you're going to get uh, two uh, DVDs, two discs that contain all of the musical soundtrack to the show and the the DVD, the DVD, the CD for uh, part one of the soundtrack has two planets on it and one is Uranus and one is Neptune, which is uh, pretty cool. And it just says Sailor Moon Crystal original soundtrack number two, obviously because um, seasons one and two were just placed on one soundtrack or uh, the same type of set. Then when you flip it over, you're going to get the same thing as well. You're going to get Saturn and you're going to get Pluto. Now, one thing I thought was interesting is Pluto is a lot bigger than Saturn, but Pluto's role in Sailor Moon Crystal Season 3 is a lot bigger than Saturn. Um, even though Saturn is a main character, Saturn herself doesn't make an appearance until the last two acts. So Saturn is pretty smaller, even though Saturn is technically the, sm the second biggest planet in the galaxy of the solar system. Then on the back you have the list of all of the soundtracks and uh so there's 29 on disc one and 23 on disc two now i have this on my computer i use my itunes to rip it and uh, my only complaint about it is for some reason when i was able to do the season one and two soundtrack itunes was able to translate it but for this for some reason uh my season uh three soundtrack didn't translate so i have the japanese um kanji written on the, my iPod now, which I thought was really uh, weird. I mean, I can tell what score is which, and I think the scores are beautiful. Like I said, it encompasses the entire uh, season, but it, mine didn't translate, so I'm actually curious if anyone who bought this does it translate as well, or does it not translate? And then also on the side, uh, it comes with one of these b nice little um, slippy things where it just says uh, Sailor Moon Crystal Season 3, uh, number 2 for the soundtrack. So that's the soundtrack. And now let's uh, dive into the Blu-ray, which is really the big part of this uh, review. So I I like this a lot. I like the color. It's um, the yellow bow, which is funny because I don't think uh, actually yeah, Uranus has a yellow bow. I had to think she has a yellow bow on her on her chest, but a blue ribbon on her back. And the silhouette over here is uh, Neptune and Uranus. And before I even go to the box, we'll look at the slipcase that goes on top. And uh, on the side, it says Sailor Moon Crystal Season 3, and you have a very nice picture of Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune. Then you have the information of the episodes on the back in Japanese, and you have a still from each of the individual episodes. And then on the side down here, you have more information. I really uh, don't like these, uh, just because I feel that they fall off a lot. So when I 
open it up. As such, I just um, put that slit back in the box. So also on the back, this says number two right here, Sailor Moon Crystal season three. So this way you know what you're looking at. You can have this, you can literally have this go either way. You can have it go this way, or you can have it go, go that way, whatever, whichever one you want. I obviously would put it this way so you know what you're looking at. So now let's go into the box. So right here, um, you have the symbols of Uranus and Neptune, and it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Crystal Season 3. Then when you open it up, you're going to get a awesome art of Neptune and Uranus. I think this looks really, really fantastic. This is also the picture of the DVD, of the DVD menu, Blu-ray menu, which I will show you as well. And then when you flip open the, um, the, the case, you're going to get a Blu-ray with all the talismans on it. You have Sailor Uranus's Space Sword, uh, Sailor Pluto's Garnet Orb, and Sailor Neptune's Deep Aqua Mirror. Then if you take out the Blu-ray, you're just going to get a whole uh, part of the galaxy. And it's essentially the um, the outer rim of the galaxy, I would imagine, because it's so much darker. Well, it's kind of light blue, but I just feel like this is the outer part of the galaxy. Uh, then on the back of the Blu-ray, you have the symbols of uh, Uranus and Neptune and the moon over here. So that's kind of nice. And that's essentially the, slit, the, uh, the DVD holder, the Blu-ray holder. I keep calling it a DVD, but this is a Blu-ray release. And then um, this is if you, I didn't buy this from Amazon. Um, I, I bought this from Amazon Japan, not CD Tokyo or anything like that. So if I did, I could have sent it back to um, to get like a special uh, box to hold it all. But these boxes are so small, it doesn't matter. But that's like that slip. And also, I don't live in America. I, I live in America. I don't live in Japan. And I know, I think CD Tokyo does do it if you live in Japan or America. I'm not 100% positive. Then you have a nice little art book that uh, essentially gives you stills of the episodes, like they always do, which is nice. Uh, this is Act 33 is one of my favorite acts of the show. I love it because you get Mistress Nine, Super Sailor Moon, and Rainbow Moon Heartache. And then you have a couple interviews with the cast in Japanese. Uh, you have like an interview with Sailor Saturn's voice actress. You have an interview with Sailor Uranus's voice actress. If any of you can read Japanese, it's probably very detailed and interesting because it's like it's a full page. So I don't know. Then. Uh, you get some character vectors of Uranus, Neptune, or Haruka, Ibichiru, uh, Setsuna, the Witches 5, because the Witches 5 have a pretty big role. You know, lots of nice little images. And then you have like a whole meet the cat, meet the, meet the, meet the staff. But we really can't read that. I can't read that. But I think, again, for quality, this is excellent. So now I'm going to, um, you know, that, that's the unboxing. And I already said there's no bonus features on the Blu-ray, so why would I go uh, any further into it, but I want to give you guys a little bit more uh, depth and detail of the Blu-ray. So we're going to look at the menu, so you can see that, and then after we look at the menu, we're going to look at the, um, we're going to look at some of the images uh, to compare it to the to the bootleg, and then we're going to look at uh, just um, some images comparing it to the original anime, and then we're done. And I think that would be a very uh, good way to, to essentially wrap this up. So let's look at the menu. And I like the menu. The menu is essentially the image of Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune. It's it's very pretty looking and you know it says you know setup and whatnot. Uh, it's not like super uh, intense or detailed but I think overall it's a nice menu. The only issue I have with it is I think Sailor Neptune looks very juvenile and it's weird to me that Neptune would look so young in comparison to Sailor Uranus. Uh, I mean it's obviously the same thing on here. They both look very young. They both look very, very, very young. But uh, Neptune, to me, just looks very childlike. And I love, I love the art, and I love her hair. I think her hair looks fantastic here, but I just don't understand why she is um, so young looking. Anyway, that is the menu. And then we'll look at some pictures of the DVD quality to the uh, Blu-ray quality. Now, the DVD, we'll look at this first image of Super Sailor Moon coming out, um, having been transformed by it, by the Grail. So the DVD is on the top, and the Blu-ray is on the bottom. I have it labeled for you guys. And I like the image of... Um, I like this image. Don't get me... I love it a lot. Now, the DVD quality is just... It's blurrier. It's a little bit more grainy. The Blu-ray is a lot more sharper, a lot more um, clearer. Essentially the same thing. But I just think the Blu-ray quality is just 10 times better. Now, uh, this Blu-ray has four episodes. It has acts, um, I believe, 30, 30, it has 30 through 33. And uh, that DVD came with a grand total of 13 episodes on it. So that DVD is very, very compressed. And the, the image of this is just so spectacular on the, on the television. 
So that is uh, Sailor Moon, and then we'll look at an image of Sailor Pluto, and it's essentially the same thing. Uh, the DVD just is very, very compressed, very grainy looking. Um, actually, here it doesn't look too, too bad. It's just, it's it's not as sharp. I, I, I kind of shrunk it down just a little bit so it would fit on the side so that way I'm still here. But I think overall, like, it, when I put that DVD into my uh, Blu-ray player, I was just like, oh, it's so gross looking. I don't like it. So uh, the Blu-ray quality just beats it out. So th th that's just a little bit of a couple of samples of the Blu-ray. And now we'll get even more Blu-ray samples, but we're going to do a quick comparison to the original anime with Sailor Uranus, Sailor Neptune, and Super Sailor Moon. So let's look at Uranus. Um, I'm not even going to get into quality. I just want to show you guys like the parallels to the original anime to Crystal with their poses and whatnot. I just think uh, it's almost the exact same. I mean, her hand is on her on her uh, her wrist, on her waist. Her arm is out. I think in the original anime, her arm is a little bit more um, is a little bit more out than in the Japanese one than in the Crystal anime. But I, I really like uh, the uh, the image of Crystal for her pose because you get to see Planet the planet Uranus behind it. And I also like how it has uh, the color of her bow as well. And I took uh, the image of Sailor Uranus posing from Act, uh, not Act, from Episode uh, 167 from Sailor Stars. And this was ripped from my Italian Region 2 DVDs as well, which is very good quality. So I just wanted to show you just a sample of how Uranus looked, and then we'll look at Sailor Neptune. And I think Neptune looks just as good as Uranus. I actually love the background pose of Neptune more, but I love the way that she's drawn in the original anime in comparison to the crystal anime, uh, just because she seems a bit more mature. I feel here that she, again, looks very, very immature, and she seems to be very much pushed back, but I think the background from Crystal is excellent, and again, she's in the exact same pose, which I think is funny. I love the fact that Crystal's giving us homages to the original uh, poses and whatnot. So then we will look at Super Sailor Moon, and this is Super Sailor Moon transforming uh, her, her, her transformation pose. And they kind of removed the butterfly motif, but at the same time they kept the butterfly motif, which I thought was kind of interesting that they would um, keep it and not keep it. Uh, I think the crystal one looks a little better, just in comparison. I like the background, I like the way her animation is, uh, but overall, I mean, this these two are so beautiful, like how can, I really don't have a preference. I, I think Crystal's just a little bit better, but that's just because I just like the length of the Crisis makeup transformation. Then, for the last one, we'll look at the, the, the striking pose for Rainbow Moon Heartache. I think the original anime for Rainbow Moon Heartache is much better for some reason. This just seems off. I thought Rainbow Moon Heartache and Crystal looked a little weird, so I, I don't know why. I just felt it was very, very much a copy of Moon Spiral Heart Attack, which is essentially a, moon, a copy of Moon Spiral Heart Attack from the original anime. But uh, I don't know, there's something about looking at the 90s to Crystal that just seems off for Crystal. But that's just, that's me. I'm just curious what you guys have to say about that. Also, uh, one thing I just caught is her bow or her ribbon in Crystal is pink, which I know it was supposed to be pink from looking at concept art. Uh, and, and in the 90s anime, it's a lot clearer. So overall, I just wanted to, overall, I, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at these images with me. I, I really like looking at them with you. That is the unboxing and review of this. Uh, I only can say buy it if you're a collector. If you're not a collector, there's no reason to go out and buy it. It just doesn't make any sense to want to want uh, these Blu-rays unless you're just that much of a collector because at some point they will be released. I can't advocate to buy the, boot, the bootleg because A, it's a bootleg and bootlegs are not, um, not official, not good, bad quality. But overall, I would say um, collectors, check it out. Everyone else, if you want to stream it online, I think that's the best. And you can just wait for the Viz Media dub. So what do you guys think of the art on this? I think the art is awesome. And I love the way uh, the bow looks. And I think I, I love the colors, too. I don't know. This one just seems more, I don't want to say potent. That's the wrong word. But it, just seems, uh, it just seems like a stronger release overall. I think because Uranus and Neptune, the episodes are on it, are just that much more interesting. So anyway, share your thoughts about the Blu-ray the, uh, Blu in the comments below. I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts, and we'll talk real, real soon. I can't believe this video is over um, 14 minutes in a Blu-ray and DVD, uh, CD review. Oh, also, as I said, there are no bonus features, but if you buy the Sailor Moon Crystal Season 3 audio CDs, or it's a CD-DVD combo pack, but the DVD is region locked to region 2, you can get Texas opening and endings, and there's three of them. I have all three. Uh, I posted them on my Snapchat before. I forget if they're on my Instagram. They might be. But anyway, they um, they come with AMVs with 
the opening theme song and the ending theme song for each particular set. So, for example, uh, this one, this, these episodes have the Chibiusa ending. So, like, if you have volume two of the CD set, you'll have the Chibiusa opening and the Chibiusa, the Chibiusa ending in the second opening, which is sung by Sailor Galaxy as voice actress, and so on and so forth. So anyway, that is that. That is my review. Uh, buy it if you're a collector. If not, save your money. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you for tuning in. And Sailor Moon Crystal, I'll have one more in September because the third act, or the third volume doesn't come out until, um, gosh, I think August 30, 31st. So I won't get that till a little later in September. Anyway, we'll talk soon. Bye.